Okay, it's Dave, and uh, again we're in the middle of an uh, installation of a replacement mirror in a TD-125 or TD-125 Mark II. And in this particular segment of the video we're going to re be removing these two levers and also this uh, top metal plate along with the, uh, the glass that uh, is for, this, uh, for the strobe visibility up on the top there. So uh, let me get this up into position and get the camera right. Mine is balancing, yours may not, so if you need a second person to be helping or you need to put some cans under there or whatever, but uh, mine is, is balancing without a lot of uh, help and that uh, is sometimes the case and sometimes it isn't. So basically for those two levers, um, hopefully you can see this little space in here uh, and as you move the lever back and forth you'll see that there's a screw that appears and in the Mark 1 version it's a straight head screw and I believe in the Mark 2 version it's also a straight head screw and I'm just loosening that I'm holding the button on the other side and it comes out like so and then the one down lower excuse me if my head gets in the way of this one I need to definitely be able to see what I'm putting it in here but basically find the screw move the switch until you see it and then unscrew until it comes off in your hand on the other side. So here's number two. And then the final thing to finally gain access to where the uh, mirror is going to go are these three screws right here. So one, again, whatever you need to do, I obviously know these screws, this, the sight of them you know by heart but uh, whatever you need to be doing to keep these screws organized so you know what goes where they're actually all fairly different this is a machine screw the ones for the bottom are wood screws and the uh, the other part were nuts there's two and then the third one is uh, way over here and you gotta be careful of the motor folks as you remove this one it's you're right next to it so don't plunk into that motor spindle and, and mess yourself up ending up with a motor repair on top of everything this last one seems to be slightly stripped so I'm going to come back in the next video with a longer screwdriver so I can reach that